Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show, be showing you guys how to get gingerbread and adopt me fast, which I know is like a real problem for some people who want to get make some neon pets from the winter update and don't know how to get this candy fast. So let's just get into the video. The first thing you need to do to get a lot of gingerbread in Adopt Me is create a private server. And they're free, so that's a really plus for all those people that want to get gingerbread fast. Because private servers will really help you because there won't be so many people, like, around and you won't get, it won't get really crowded. And I'll be showing you guys some examples a bit later on. Another thing to get a lot of candy is to build a snowman. So, I already built my snowmans, but every day you get a build five snowmans and after you build all five of the snowmans you get 300 candy so here are all the locations another way to get a lot of candy is just to follow the path that i'm going on um because if you follow this path you'll be able to get a bunch of gingerbread candy really fast so i'll just show you guys the path that i take and one thing that's really helpful is to be like a bit slower when you're next to penguins because if you go too fast you'll just have you'll end up taking more time than just slowing down it would be really helpful if you used a private server so you don't keep on bumping into people when you're trying to pick up your gingerbread and if you do follow my path you'll get 160 gingerbread and that is how much you're supposed to get throughout the whole run Another way to get a lot of candy is to find all the parts for the snow launcher, but you're only able to do this once in all the winter update, so I would definitely do that, but you have time because you have the whole winter update. But you get 800 candy at the end and a snowball launcher. And I did do a video on this sharing you guys, with you guys all the locations of the snowball launcher, so I will be sure to sh link that in the description. And here for the feeding the frost fury, it's really important to get a private server so people don't keep on melting the ice because you share the ice. So if one person melts this ice, then you won't be able to melt it until it reappears. So it's really important for you to get a private server and they're free. So I would definitely recommend it. And here you can see me turning around because there is a stage right after this it's like slippery ice and i would definitely recommend you guys just to turn around because the ice will reappear by the time you turn around and you won't have to be going on that slippery ice which is really hard level for me And you can see here that I got 111 gingerbread, which is actually a lot because I've been recently just getting 80 gingerbread. So in my opinion, that's a lot of candy. So here's the schedule for the mini games. The lines represent um, any hour, so it doesn't matter what hour it is, just matters what minute it is. So this is the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. I would also like to give this guy a shout out because he was so nice.